how to repair your air hydraulic jacking beam. If you need to change the complete air pump or fix the air motor, start by removing the front panel plugs. Then remove the release handle. Remove the top screw on both handles and turn both handles a bit. Then remove the two screws securing the front panel. Push the cylinders aside and remove the cover to the left. Then disconnect the two hose assemblies by pushing the small red ring while pulling the hose. Remove the front panel and the air hose on the pump. Remove the cable tie securing the oil hose. Remove the hydraulic hose. And fix it high to prevent oil spill. Then unscrew the two screws securing the pump and remove the pump. Finally, disconnect the oil hose and fix it high to prevent oil spill. If you are changing the complete pump, simply skip the instructions on how to repair the air motor and follow the instructions for refitting the complete pump. If you need to repair the air motor, start by fixing the pump in a vise and then remove the sound absorber. Observe the exact position of the air motor before you remove it and remember the correct position for refitting. Remove the packing box. Remove the bondy seal between pump block and packing box and the seals in the packing box. Clean with a detergent and check the parts for scratches and marks. Refit new seals in the packing box. Make sure they are positioned correctly before refitting. Clean the pump block with a detergent. Refit a new bondy seal and the packing box. Use plenty of grease on both. Remove the piston from the air cylinder and clean it. Clean the piston and check for scratches and marks. Make sure that the seals on the air piston are intact. Lubricate with grease and refit the piston and spring. Use plenty of grease on the air cylinder and refit the spring. In order to ease assembly of air motor and pump, we recommend aligning the thread start on both air motor and pump. Then it is much easier to catch the thread. Take care to position the air motor correctly. It can be fastened tighter, but it has to be positioned as before because of limited space in the front panel. Refit the sound absorber and make sure all parts are clean and dry. When you are ready to refit the complete air hydraulic pump, 
start by pushing the oil hose fully into the quick coupling. Be aware to place the oil hose behind the pump and refit the two screws on the pump block. Take care not to damage or pinch the oil hose behind the pump. Push the air hose fully into the quick coupling on the air motor. Secure the oil hose with a cable tie. Refit the panel and take care not to pinch any hoses. Refit panel, handles and plugs. Refit the release handle. It is important to pre-tension it 180 degrees to the left. 1. Start by tightening the release. 2. Choose the proper spring hole inside the black knob that will align the knob screw with the hole in the release. 3. Engage the other end of the spring and turn knob with spring half a turn before pushing and tightening the knob screw through the release. Four, if done correctly, the release will now close automatically. Refit the hoses in the frame. Make sure you push them fully into the quick couplings. Finally, replace the cover. If you need to repair the cylinder, start by removing the saddle. Lift the cylinder flange and remove the hydraulic hose beneath. Fix the hose high to prevent oil spill. Remove the cylinder from the frame and fix it in a vise. Remove knob and lock valve. Use an Allen key to remove the spring attachment. Use a fibre hammer to loosen the cylinder flange. Unscrew the flange and drain the oil. Then separate rod and cylinder tube. Be careful with the cylinder parts. Use a fibre hammer to push out the piston rod. Remove the O-ring and then the scraper ring and the seals in the cylinder flange. Clean all parts and check for scratches and rust.
refit a new scraper ring and new seals. Make sure the scraper ring is positioned correctly and that it is not damaged. Note that the yellow backup ring is bowl shaped to fit the O-ring. Make sure to position it correctly when you refit it. Use plenty of grease. Refit a new O-ring on the bottom of the flange. Clean the piston rod and check for scratches and rust. Clean the cylinder tube and check for scratches and rust. Replace the complete cylinder if needed. Carefully place the piston rod in the cylinder tube and grease thoroughly. Finally, refit the flange on the cylinder tube and again use plenty of grease. Use a fibre hammer to tighten. Refit the spring attachment. and knob. Reinstall the complete cylinder in the frame and refit the hydraulic hose. Be sure to guide the hydraulic hose as shown in the manual. Refill with oil. Correct oil level is to the lower edge of the filling hole with both cylinders fully down. Finally, test all functions.